Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to talk about making tree components with 2D and 3D information inside them. You know, I'm going to go even a little further beyond that. Let's go ahead and put 3D, 2.5D, and 2D, all three of those inside a single component. What is 2.5D? Well, you'll have to follow. Just keep watching. I'll show you. Ah, uh, the two and a half D thing was kind of made up, but I got some elm trees. I got three trees right here to be precise. The first one right here that uh, little Aaron's standing under is a 3D model. So you can see in this, we have, I'm looking like it was a photograph of, of uh, some leaves that was cut out, put into on the 3D branches, put in the 3D space. So this is, looks nice from, Many different levels looks good. It could be this could probably get rendered that sort of thing. Um, downside to it, of course, is it's gonna it's got a lot of stuff in it. So if I come in here, I come in here multiple levels. Keep coming, keep clicking in here and see that okay, just this one branch is a hundred entities. So we're talking about thousands of entities and a couple materials that kind of thing. Not insanely heavy. This is actually a fairly light tree from 3D Warehouse. I have been able to find and download trees that are significantly, significantly heavier than this. So it's not bad, but there is a lot to it. The downside is if I was to look at it from above like this, um, it doesn't look bad, but I might not place that as being a tree if this was on a plan or something like that. Um, over here, we have a face me component. It's a little artistic, a little watercolory, but uh, the upside of this is that a couple is that it's a face so there's an image on here but it's really just a, a single rectangle um, it is a face me component so that means wherever i turn the model i'm always going to be looking at the face of this tree like this so the nice thing about this option is what this does is gives me no matter where i'm looking at this this model so if i'm looking at it from you know close up a shot in the yard or it's in the backyard as i'm looking at the house it's always going to look like a tree like that that's really cool um as long as i'm down here around this level as soon as i get up high so if i'm looking at like a plan view from above my tree kind of all but disappears not very useful there and then of course here we have a plan view tree so this is nice for things like layout. When I go to layout and I look at my, my yard, my, my layout for my landscape, I can see that this is a tree. There's not an ambiguity of what this is, not invisible tree here, and this is like, okay, I know exactly what that thing is. So question is, do I have to choose one or the other? Or the other? What, do I have to choose one of the three? Well, no. We can actually have all of these available at the same time. So I'm gonna do this for one tree, but you gotta imagine I could do this and have a dozen different trees, different kinds or the same tree repeating. Um, this process can be done however you like uh, with you know as many assets as you need. And once it's created as a component, we can save it and reuse it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna put each of these on their own tag. So I'm gonna have three tags. I'm gonna have a 3D tag, a 2D, 2.5D and a 2D tag. Um, I don't know what else to call this. It's a flat 3D thing. So I'm going to call it two and a half D. That's what I was referring to. When I said two and a half D. All right. So 3D. So I'm going to come over here and create three tags. Three, one is three, 3D. Three two is 2.5D. Well, I could call it face me maybe two. I don't know. And then we'll have a 2D. All right, so there we go. There's our three tags. And then I'm going to assign each of these to one of those tags. So uh, the 3D Elm, of course, is going on to 3D. So here's a little tip. When you start assigning stuff, what I like to do is turn the tags off. And then when you assign something to that tag, it should disappear. So when I assign this to 3D, it goes away. When I select this tree and I assign that to 2.5, it goes away. And when I select this one and apply it to 2D, it goes away. Okay, now that I know everything's where it's supposed to be, it brings us all back up. I'll grab this tree. I'm going to go click right at the base of that trunk and I'm going to put that, I'm going to spin underneath here slightly and I'm going to put that at my origin. Since that's my original tree was at the origin, so I'm going to use the same spot. Okay, so now I got that mess. All right, perfect. I'll grab this one. Same thing, I'll grab it by the center 
And I'll align that center. All of these that I'm looking at right here, this 3D tree, the face me tree, this 2D symbol, were all downloaded from 3D Warehouse. All right, so there we go. Let's get, let's get Aaron out of there. I appreciate you stopping by, but you need to get out my face. All right, so there we go. We have all of it. Um, if we were to come through here and toggle through the different views, we'd see that we can see one at a time, or we can see multiple if we have them turned on. So that's pretty nice, but let's, uh, let's do this. Let's come in here and let's make all of this into a single component. So I'm gonna grab all three entities, I'm gonna right click, make component. I'm gonna call this my all in Elm tree. Tree spelling is not my strong point, you guys know that. All right, I'm gonna set a component axis. That component axis is gonna be that origin point. You don't have to put this at the origin. I do it because it, no matter what I do, I have a snap point there. So I like building things like components off the origin where I know I have that one consistent point. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and say create. And there we go. So one of the things that was in there, if you saw that there's always face camera, I did not turn that on for the whole component. That is still turned on for my two and a half D element in there. But other than that, that component is now done. So what I could do is I could come in here I could work in 3D world and I could say, okay, let's go to components, uh, grab my all in Elm and we're gonna put one right here. Uh, I'm gonna put another one right here. I'm gonna put another one over here. I'll put one back here. I could apply that however I want. So even if I'm using something like an extension like scatter or random tools, it's just a component at this point. Very, very simple to use. And at any point I could say, okay, don't show me 3D, but show me 2D or two, show me both or give me my two and a half Ds, my face me's. And I could take that a little bit further. You guys know how much I'm, I'm enjoying this process right now. I could go to scenes and I could create a quick scene. I'm gonna drop this down and say, the only thing I wanna do is visible tags. There we go. And I'm gonna create this one. This is a new style, that's fine. And I'm gonna call this one Face me trees. And then we'll come back up to tags. We'll turn on 3D. And I'll create a new scene. This one's going to be called 3D trees. And then one more. And we'll call this one layout. So the nice thing now is I can come in here and I can start modeling. Let's, let's go put the house in. Let's start working on this. And as I'm doing this, I want to check out, okay, this is, this is the height of the house. How does that look against the trees? Well, um, my 3d trees are about the right height. So that's, Ooh, that's true. That's a high, that's a tall house. I probably should go this up a little bit. It's a big house too, but we're not here for the house. We're here for the trees. So, um, but there we go. So then I can, as I'm moving through here, layout. Okay. Let's see what our layout trees look like. I'd want to build scenes for my layout output, you know, camera, top view, parallel projection. I want to make sure my 2d trees are turned on there because that's what I want to export to layout. Not the, not, you know, not this or heaven forbid this. Oop, I just turned them on. You can't even see them. That's why they're no good. We're going to stick with some face, some uh, layout trees if we're going to export that 2D. But there you go. So that is a quick and easy way. And again, like I said before, this could get saved out too, right? So I could take this component. Uh, it's saved as a part of this model. But if I want to, I could right click. I could say save out and save this to my hard drive or to Trimble Connect as a component in a library. And then I could just drag it right back into another model. So I could do this once and then have it available for any future model I have where I have an Elm tree in there and I wanna have the ability to go from 3D to 2D uh, or somewhere in between. Back to 3D, there we go, I like it. So there you go, uh, three components in one uh, and easy to switch through using scenes or tags. This is a similar workflow to a video we did way back 
I hate thinking about how long ago I made videos. It makes it just obvious how long I've been doing this. But we did a video a while back where we had like doors. We had doors and then also a 2D image of the door swing and you could swap between the two of them. Very similar idea with this particular component. I thought it was kind of nice because you actually have another layer you could put in there with those face me. So then you get a little bit more volume, but you don't necessarily have to display all that stuff. So um, the advantage of having those to flip between, so the 2D, the layout, having the flat ones on there is perfect for going generating drawings, that sort of thing. Um, the face me trees are very nice in that you can spin them around and it's not going to ever cause any kind of lag in your mouth. They're very super lightweight. Whereas the 3D trees, these ones weren't too bad, but 3D trees can get heavy. So you might want to just flip on 3D trees if I had a full yard of them, maybe only before I go render or export or something like that. Other than that, I might want to keep it on the lighter weight. So, but this is nice because with this, with this one component, you have all those options. So try that out. Anytime we did with trees, like I said, we've done with doors. Anytime you have multiple versions of the same thing, rather than just putting them on top of each other and then turning them on and off or hiding or something, consider, can I make this a single component and then assign those different pieces to different tags to flip on and off. Uh, it could be a big time saver in the future, especially if this is something you use repeatedly in different models. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here and you will be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, leave us a comment down below. Have you tried something like this? Did I miss something? Is there a better way to do it? Or do you have an idea for a whole nother video, a whole nother workflow or process? Let us know about any of that down in the comments. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.